Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute, but I'm really, really excited to be filming this video today. Um, so as you can see here, I have a ton of clothes that we're gonna try on and we're gonna do it in a three-part series. I have some Forever 21 stuff, which is what we're gonna go over today because Brian and I just got home. If you're new here, hi. I'm Melissa, my boyfriend is Ryan, um, and we just rode, we live in Atlanta, and we just rode down to West Side Atlanta, and by road, we have a Harley, so I rode on the Harley in this outfit. That's pretty much, these three pieces that I have on is all from here. Two, top and bottom, are Forever 21, and this one is Express. So going back to the three-piece side of this all is we have Express, and then we'll have Forever 21, and then I'll have kind of like Target with a little bit of Amazon thrown in. So more of your affordable stuff, I guess you'd say. Um, but to me, the Forever 21 stuff is super affordable too, and I was just blown away by everything that I got in the Forever 21 haul. So we're just gonna dive right in. I absolutely love watching these videos on YouTube, and I also, I'm in this weird place in my life where I've gained a lot of weight like a lot of people so I feel like I'm rediscovering how to dress my body again um for reference I am 5'3 size 10 um large chest so and I sometimes I feel like when I see other women that are size 10 they don't act, they don't actually their bodies look very different than mine which is fine um so my hopes is that maybe my short curvy girls out there that need to see what it's like on a body that's a size 10 but short size 10, this might help them. So we're just going to go ahead and dive into it. So first things first, um, Forever 21, I have on these awesome jeans that I will be showing you guys in a hot second. And then I have on this awesome like free people dupe shirt. And I live in the South, so it's cool in the mornings and then warmer during the day. So like I think today it got up to 75. And like I said, I wore this to ride my to ride on the Harley and then we went to Top Golf on like midday. It kind of got hot so like I just took it off. But I've already taken off the tags. I don't remember how much off the top of my tongue everything is and if I've already taken off the tags because I've already worn it, I won't remember. So I'll have all the details listed down below and then I'll also try to pop it up on the screen. But it has this awesome like, not teddy, but also not boucle material, but it is super lightweight, but also somehow just keeps me comfortable. And then there are these two pockets right here. And I love the boxy free flowing fit. I believe it comes in a couple of different colors. So as you can see, I've already kept this. And then I have on the 90 jeans. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I raved over these 90s jeans. Um, I feel like everyone is getting their hands on the A Gold, getting their hands on the Abercrombie and & Fitch. And for someone who maybe just wants to try out the trend or doesn't want to spend a hundred plus on a pair of jeans. I just want to say Forever 21 has come a long way. I have not shopped Forever 21 since like 2015. If that probably pre-college, I don't think I've stepped into foot into a Forever 21 and I didn't step foot into a Forever 21 for this either. I shopped on the website, which highly recommend. It's definitely better. Um, but I want to get a hold of these jeans and everything else, uh, like every other 90 style that they have. However, they're all sold out in my size. So I would say these do run true to size. And then something I used to remember that the Forever 21 jeans did was the zipper never stayed up. I've had no issues with these zippers. And like I've said, I've been sitting and standing and swinging a golf club all day and getting used to what my sizings are. I used to be a medium and now I think I'm more of a large. Um, and I think this fits comfortably, but it is, it does run large, like it's a baggy fit. So if you don't like that and you want it to be a little form fitting, I'd recommend sizing down. So the next piece we have is this beautiful jacket. So now I have three jackets 
or shackets, two shackets and then one like trench coat that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. But I just loved the color on this. Like the color on this is beautiful fall to winter transition, especially in the South where we get winter and by winter, I mean like less than 35 degrees for like a couple of weeks and it usually doesn't happen until end of January, February. So this will be perfect when we're transitioning from those fall to winter months, but because it's also not lined, um, it is a little scratchy, I'm not gonna lie. So just wearing a plain cotton long sleeve shirt, like that didn't bother me. I mean, even with this tank top on, it was a little scratchy, but not to the point where it was uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Um, so I wish it was lined, but I will be keeping this. I got in a size large and the tag doesn't say how much it was, but I will be keeping this. Um, I also really like the length, which I was surprised because again, being 5'3", I tend to lean towards the shorter shackets, like the shackets that come up to my thighs. And these one, I don't know why I just said these one. And this one goes just past my knees. So I'm definitely holding on to this. The next shacket we have is a little bit more on the fall side, like summer going into fall. It has a beautiful pop of purple to it. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. This beautiful pop of purple and then like a pale pink. There's also actually pink stitched inside it's a little harder to see and it probably won't come up on camera it's very very faint and like i'm i'm just now noticing it um but these are more autumnal colors and then what i liked about this one is i loved the details on the sleeve with the button and then this one also comes with a wrap and it's also lined so this one's a lot more comfortable um and a little softer to the touch Whereas this one kind of has like a fuzzy material to it. Like it has, hair is probably going to turn people off, but it almost has like hair. Whereas this is like a softer, more flannel feel. Now this next one is faux suede and it feels so beautiful. It's so soft. This one is, I guess it's lined. Yeah, this one is lined. Um, I got a size extra large for this one and a size large for the more, the jacket right here. Um, so when I tried this one on, a few things. The sleeves also have a snap button, which is really big this fall. A lot of jackets are having that on. There's a jacket that's gonna be in the Express try-on that has that, but this one you can adjust yourself. So if you have like balloon sleeve sweater on or something like that and it's extra tight you're going to be able to adjust that however I also feel like it loosens easier when I wear it <clears throat> and I'm personally thinking I'm going to return this I don't think I'm going to wear it it's not that it's not beautiful there's just another one on their site that I kind of have my eye on that I think I might like on my body a little more and then it has just the standard you know uh what's his name Mr. Gadget? Yeah, Mr. Gadget? I don't know. But like the, you know, the traditional trench coat, Mr. Gadget type of back and then just a wrap. There are no buttons to secure this one. It is lightweight, so it's perfect for in the south or the early seasons of fall up north. Um, and then this one does go to like mid-calf for me as well. So the three jackets are pretty much all the same. Okay, y'all. I just wanted to try this on to film it, kind of show you like the side by side that I've been doing. Um, and it's this corset style dress. I'll put the picture from the website here. I ordered an extra large and you can't see, but it on the ends like hits to the middle of my knuckle. Um, it's very short and there's no way, just none at all whatsoever that this is fitting over my boobs. I didn't even want to try this on because I knew it was going to be a stretch. It's also um, a little see-through, so I kept the white bodysuit on underneath. Um, it would have been really cute with like boots and heels. However, if you have large boobs, be very cautious of this. Um, everywhere else, it fits fine. Like It's not tight when I do this. The arms are flowy and feel great. It's just this. So I don't even know like if you have large boobs, maybe size up 
one or two uh, because you are going to be able to cinch it in with this like little corset detail it has going on however if you are like bigger than a c cup maybe refrain from purchasing this because it's a problem so i'm gonna go change back into my regular outfit um and yeah get out of this if i can wish me luck okay so before we end this video i just wanted to show you guys the jeans off um show you guys so they have a ton of different variations of the 90s jeans just i will link all the ones down below that i love but they have the crisscross ones um i have read reviews that the crisscross ones run a little small and just don't fit right around the waist these were totally comfortable to me i mean even with them being high-waisted sitting down was a dream in them on an hour ride hour long bike ride um playing golf in them was really comfortable it was a really cute outfit for top golf if you go i got the ones with the rips on the knees obviously and then there is some ripping or shredding detail on the pockets i cannot rave over these enough overall there's still so much more I want to buy from Forever 21 for fall because they have so many cute things and so many different style ranges. They have the whole 70s groovy trend going on, the 90s Y2K trend going on, but then they also have classic piece pieces for people who work a 9 to 5 too. You can find some really great trousers on their website and things like that. So I am just overall really happy with the way this turned out. Obviously the dress and I are not meant to be together which is a shame, but maybe somebody else out there might be able to rock it a lot better. Um, but if you are a jacket whore such as myself, I consider this whole try on to be a total win, especially for these jeans. I am literally like, I cannot rave about these jeans enough. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video, which will be the target more affordable haul and then the one after that will be my express video and the express video will be more geared towards the nine to five gals so if you're a nine to five gal work in a corporate setting stay tuned for that i appreciate you guys for watching let me know down below which one was your favorite piece and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want to see more i'll see you next time